So basically, that's our widget there. Now, then we head over to an HTML box, which I've just added another section. I've got this JavaScript that I've added in here. So what I'm doing is the ID that I gave to this carousel here, I've just added that as a name of the selector with a hash in front of it. Hash identifies it as an ID, a space, and then dot swiper container. So I'm, I want to target swiper container that's inside that widget. Uh, I then wait for the window to fully load so that I get access to jQuery and I get access to the swiper. So before this point here, uh, the swiper hasn't initialized and jQuery isn't available. So if I try and uh, run this code here without that listener, uh, I would just get errors. So that's, uh, that's why we do that. So effectively, with Elementor, what they're doing now is if we look at our swiper selector, so that's our ID, followed by the dot swiper hyphen container is our selector. If we have a look at the data attribute of swiper, that actually gives us a reference to the uh, swiper instance that is running this uh, carousel here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reference that. I'm going to go to the parameters. I'm going to set the slides per view to 1.5. explain that shortly. I'm going to set the parameters for the center slides true. Now, normally, you provide these when you initialize the swiper, but because we don't have those options in the element or widget, um, we need to do this uh, using JavaScript. Then we tell it to update. Now, update just reinitializes the swiper based on those properties. Uh, there are a couple of things that we need to be aware of here, which I'll, I'll talk about. So, um, so if I update that now, and then go back to my reference here and follow five. Initially, you'll see now that I've just set that to 1.5. I've got now these on the side here. So let's say I make that, um, I don't know, 1.8. Do a controller five. Now you see they're bigger on the side. So you've got to play around with that figure to, to get the effect that you want. What we're saying is that we want the size of this to display the width of one of these plus 0.8. Uh, and we want to distribute that on the sides because we've told it to center the slides here. That's pretty much how that works. Now, you will notice that when I do a control F5 here, initially it displays the uh, slider and then it applies my JavaScript afterward. Unfortunately, one of the things Elementor could do better is um, they could throw some JavaScript events when things initialize. Unfortunately, when they initialize the swiper for these uh, widgets, there's no JavaScript event thrown. So I can't just hook into that and go, right, initialize, reinitialize it. I have to wait for the uh, window to fully load. Uh, and then I have to do this. So there is a delay between when uh, the swiper is initialized and then when we reinitialize it. So the way that we deal with that is we might put a uh, entrance animation on that. Um, so let's say it's a fade in over a slow period. There we go. Still get a little bit of jump there. It's not as bad. Um, so that's pretty much how we access some of the properties in Swiper that aren't available through the Elementor widget. So if I go to here, there are some things available, um, but unfortunately the slides to show is a whole number. We can't set it to 1.8 or any, any other number. Uh, so the, there are other options. Uh, let's say you want two in there. We might just play with that a little bit. I'm going to try say two point maybe two point eight. Have a look and see what that looks like. Yeah, it's pretty close to being three, isn't it? So maybe we make that say uh, if I make that four.
as I got four across, I've got these little uh, extras on the side here. So if I make it say uh, 3.3, You go with little ones on the side with two four ones in the middle, three four ones in the middle. So, yeah, there's many ways you can do this. Um, but one other thing I'll show you is if the swiper. So, this is on um, just go to swiperjs.com and go down to the buttons here. There's the APIs. What we're looking at here is these properties. So if I actually just go to the parameters, the parameters I'm changing here through um, swiperref.params are these parameters. So there's these parameters that I'm changing. So you can set different breakpoints uh, through there, uh, the direction of the slide, a vertical, horizontal, um, you know, the effect. What else we can do? Uh, if we go direction, if we try the direction to vertical. Some of this may or may not work depending on, some of this may or may not work depending on how it's been implemented in uh, Elementor. With that to twenty five. There's some of this needs a little bit more finessing. Um, there's some CSS probably that needs to be changed. Yeah, I meant to make this work. So not everything that we see here is going to work for us uh, unless we change some CSS. That let's just focus on what we were doing. There we go. All right, so hopefully that's a good introduction as to what you can do with Swiper to access some of the features that are not implemented in Elementor. Uh, there's a lot of the features which you could enable that you need to then look at uh, the CSS for it and work out how to uh, to make that work. But the, the functionality is there. You just need to work on the CSS to make it work properly. So hopefully that's useful to you.